Minecraft intro. Uh, so yeah, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make sync and also camera mode. So yeah, let's get started. First of all, you want to go to orthographic view. Okay, which you can do that by pressing 5 in the numpad, num keypad, and then pressing 1 or 3 in the num keypad. Now you're going to go click shift A, you can add an empty plane axis, and then add another empty anything but a plane axis or arrow or single arrow. I like using a lattice because it's pretty cool. So now I'm going to add a camera. Gonna move the camera out of the grid to the edge of the grid. Gonna parent the camera to the MT. Gonna parent the MT to the lattice. There we go. Now we can start moving the camera. I'm gonna place it over here. Click on auto keyframing. There you go. I'm just gonna show you guys the song. Okay, so I'm just gonna just put a, f a little fade in. Okay, now uh, let's start. You're gonna go to video editing where you add ed where you add song. You're gonna click on the song. And click on draw waveform. Now you're gonna lower this here so you can see those waveforms. You're gonna play it, the song. And you're gonna find the drop. The drop my dr the drop here is somewhere around this area. It's here. Now you're gonna hover over the timeline while you while the. Uh, Whatever this thing is, is on the frame where the drop starts. Press M while you're hovering on the timeline and you got you added a marker. Okay, now we can add some camera movements before you continue. need to do a bit of editing there we go okay let's start with syncing okay uh, right so before we I go syncing I'm just gonna add a text so you know how the syncing is. You're just gonna put text. Now this is the this is the part where you might get wrong a lot. So yeah, you're gonna go to a different layer. You're gonna play the whole song, and uh, you might want to do this. You're gonna inc increase the timeline size so you don't get any missing markers. You're gonna play the song, and then whenever you hear a beat, you press M. It'll record it down here. I mean, you could just do it manually, but depends on the song. If the song ain't good. Well, it'll be hard. If it sounds like this, then it'll be easy. So I'm just gonna do this quickly because it sounds like this.
think I should do it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the sink. Right, there are three types of sink. Sink. Uh, I'm gonna show you all three of them, or well, the three I know. First one is uh, I call it. I, I like to call it a classic sink, the one I normally use before I learned how to make bounce sink. I'll show you guys how to do bounce sink later. So to make uh, this classic sink, it's I think it's called mainstream sink. Not really sure. But I think that's an AE, which I don't have. So I'm gonna show you guys how to m make the sink I do before uh, I do bouncing. So yeah, you're gonna click on the empty. You move. Uh, the camera movement is with lattice. So remember that the sinking is with the second, with the first object you placed or added. <coughs> In this case, it's the empty. So I'm gonna press I or G. Don't move it. Press G, don't move it, and then click. <coughs> okay. Now you're gonna move one key, f one, one frame front, and then zoom in. Okay, once that's done, you go to animation, switch to animating mode, go to the empty, zoom in a bit. See here, there's a marker here. Gonna move, and then go to another marker. We're gonna shift D. You make sure you select those two keyframes only, and then duplicate it. Duplicate it again. Duplicate it again. Duplicate it again. Until we duplicate it. So until we get the full song. Until we go through the full song. Here's the last one. Right, nope, there's more. Put this somewhere around here. Okay, now let's see the results. That's very simple, very easy to make, and yeah, it's for simple intros. I mean, just not really, don't look that good, but should work. Now, uh, this, is, this looks very plain, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to the zoom, the part where it goes in, and you're gonna put movement. Either you could do G and move it into a position, or you could just rotate it this side and then go to front. <coughs> Two keyframes front, go to the other side, press it, do this by pressing the up arrow twice. If you, do, if you were doing what I, what I did, that's what you do. I do this in most of my sync since I made zero effects as intro. Okay. The last one, we'll just, there you go. Now that's the that's the second. Well, no, that's still the first. Now I'm gonna show you guys the second. Uh, I'm gonna go to default. You can do you can do this in an animation, but I just really don't like deleting this stuff. So you're gonna add in some a new uh, panel here by going here and then click drag. 
Then you're gonna switch this to graph editor. You get a bunch of this stuff. If you didn't do any animating, it will. If you didn't do any animating, just animated this. Then this would that would help you a lot. Now you're gonna click on the empty. Click on this thing. Go down to lock rot scale. Close everything except one of the scales. I'm gonna do Y scale because I really like it. I'm also gonna hide this. So yeah, now we're all left with this. This looks pretty simple. Goes down, goes up, goes down. Now you can press no, you can press T and then go for cubic. Now it goes down, down, down. <coughs> now let's see how, how it looks like. I'm gonna go here and delete the other two sc scaling scales. Scaling. Okay, let's try that again. Now, okay, let's try this now. Turn all of them on and then make them cubic. This should do it. One way you can do your bounce sync, and here's the net. Here's the other way. I think you can cancel one of these. If you cancel what happens, you cancel X. Nope, that doesn't work. Cancel Z. Okay, so we just got the X one. Now we're gonna go over here, click on the part that goes down, or if you made it go up, then click on the part that goes up. You're gonna go press N. And you'll get this uh, second panel. Gonna go and change the easing to ease out. Do this for the rest. Okay, we'll do some. Just do four now. <laughs> I'll do the rest. And that should be our bond sink. I'm just gonna move this further so we get a fade effect. Now let's check it. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to do the second type of bound sink, the outward one. Now, if you've already did, the, if you did this one and you want to switch, well, that's pretty easy to switch. You're gonna go select all of the bottom one, and you just G Y, and then you move it, move it up. This should give you bound sink. If you don't like this, you could just you can do this G X and then move it to to say about the center of the first one. This should work probably. Nah, never mind, didn't work. Okay, you know that kind of worked. You select. Well, once you've done that, you select all of it, then size minus one, Y, or yeah, I think it's Y. Let's try that again. Okay. 
now it should work. You can move this up so you can level it with the rest. Gonna put a bit more camera movement. Need to turn to where the P changes. Can I delete this one? Move this to the side. That should be your camera movement. Now you're just gonna put this in your Minecraft world, in your Minecraft intro. This is just for a text intro because I can't import the world. It'll be a bit laggy if I record with the world on. So yeah, this should be it. Okay guys, so yeah, that should be it for this tutorial, very quick, uh, so yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial, uh, I think I'll be doing some other extra movements, the one you really need, yeah, so I think, I guess I should be doing like PvP movements, that's what people need to know, so yeah. Okay guys, yeah, that should be it for now. See ya.